during your due diligence process. This is the time to inspect anything and everything you wanted to. You can do a home inspection. You can do what's called a WDIR, which is a wood destroying insect report, known as a pest inspection. You may do a roof inspection. You may do an HVAC inspection to see how that system's running. And in each area where you're buying, you could find there are different things that are more pertinent to that area, such as radon testing, mold testing. You may need a septic inspection, a well water uh, inspection, and the list can go on and on. Okay, but that's why we work with professionals that know what it's like buying in your area. It's important though to do all of this due diligence during the due diligence process because at the end of that process, your earnest money is non-refundable. And so you have a lot more money into the game if things were not moving the way you need them to go. And so what do I mean by that? You do have the opportunity during due diligence to negotiate anything that you find that really just was out of place. Maybe you didn't expect a certain thing to be going on with the house. Maybe there's a different situation with insurance amounts or problems with your loan. Whatever the case may be, during that due diligence process, you can negotiate, or like I said before in the last video, we can back out and get your earnest money back. So it's really important that you keep up with those dates. And remember, the agent's goal is to keep that money in your pocket if it's not needed somewhere else. Basically, you also want want to set up your utilities for transfer at closing once you've passed that process. But during this period, again, you're there to figure out anything and everything you need to know about the property.